It's your appraisal time and you dread filling up the form. You don't know where to start. You also think, is my manager going to read all these comments? In this training, I'm going to show you exactly how you can write comments on your appraisal form. These methods have been widely used by my students from the Career Transformation Paid Program, helping them earn a minimum hike of 20%. What has been your biggest struggle in filling up an appraisal form? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Your comments are valuable to this community. Before diving in, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be informed whenever such awesome videos are published from this channel. Give this video a like if you're excited to know more about how to fill up an appraisal form. Follow me on LinkedIn where I share career growth related tips regularly. Hello, I am Madhurima, India's first 10x corporate readiness transformer. I have helped over 10,000 professionals skyrocket their career growth. I help corporate professionals go from being undervalued in a routine job and limited growth facing job dissatisfaction to designing a dream career so that they can add value to their organization and multiply their income. Generally, you would have about less than a week's time to fill up your appraisal form. Usually, what people do is they directly jump into the appraisal form and start filling up the comments. This is wrong and really nuts. You should start by collating your data against the key result areas or KRAs. You should then write them on an Excel sheet. Your KRAs are goals that would have been given to you by your manager at the start of the year. Once you're done filling up an Excel sheet with the data on your KRAs, that is when you should move on to filling up the appraisal form. In a minute, I'm going to share my laptop screen and show you exactly how to draft comments on an appraisal form. Now, if you are serious about your career and need some help with resume writing with reference to the resume header, profile section, work experience, skills, etc., then I share all of this in the Breakthrough Resume course. This is a recorded training that you can take at your preferred time and pace. The link of this course is given in the description box below. Grab this course today and start writing your resume. Generally, you would have to leave comments on your local HR portal. For the sake of this explanation, I am going to show this to you on an Excel sheet. You can see the key result areas on the left hand side. You have the comment section here and then you have to give yourself a rating for each area next. Your first KRA is number of errors discovered by external quality for this example. If we have to refer to the data, it is 18 that we got. If we look at the range, then it falls under meets expectations. Here is what we write in the comments. In the recent external quality assessment, 18 errors were identified within our project deliverables. Recognizing the seriousness of this feedback, I immediately took responsibility to understand the root causes of these discrepancies. A comprehensive review was conducted which not only pinpointed the specific areas of oversight, but also led to the implementation of a quality assurance protocol to prevent reoccurrence. This included enhanced training for myself on quality standards and the introduction of regular internal reviews prior to external submissions. Since these corrective measures were put in place, subsequent projects have shown a significant reduction in errors, marking a 95% improvement in quality compliance. Writing your comments in an elaborated way allows you to showcase the behind the scenes scenarios for your manager. Now, some portals may have a word limit. So what you do in this case is you write a brief comment on the appraisal form, but write the elaborated comment on the Excel sheet and show this sheet to your manager. Make sure that you also elaborate these points in your appraisal meeting. Also, if you have underachieved something, be ready with the reasons and the action that you have taken to overcome them in future. Refrain from using short comments as far as possible. Always elaborate your comments on your performance. Let us move to the second KRA. Number of audits completed. If we have to refer to the data, it is 80 that we got. If we look at the range, then it falls under exceed expectations. 
Here is what we write in the comments. Over the course of the evaluation period, I successfully completed 80 audits, a milestone that not only meets but substantially exceeds the set expectations for my role. This achievement was the result of diligent planning and commitment to maintaining the highest standards of accuracy and efficiency in our processes. The completion of these audits has played a crucial role in enhancing the operational integrity and compliance of our team, directly contributing to a 30% improvement in our internal process efficiencies and a noticeable reduction in compliance-related issues. Moving forward, I aim to leverage the insights and best practices gained from this experience to further optimize our audit processes and contribute to the organization's success. This comment clearly articulates the achievement, the number of audits performed and how one has substantially exceeded their expectation. If you have noticed, then we have been using number-driven comments on the appraisal form. When your manager looks at these numbers, it would clearly tell them that you know what job you are doing. Now, if you are due for a promotion this appraisal cycle, then watch this video on how you can have a conversation about your promotion with your boss. I will leave a link to this in the description box below and also at the end of this video as an end screen. Let us now discuss the third KRA, deviation and calibration. If we have to refer to the data, it is 5% that we got. If we look at the range, then it falls under meet expectations. Here is what we write in the comments. During the review period, the deviation observed in my calibration process was maintained at 5%, aligning precisely with the established expectations. This result underscores my commitment to upholding high quality standards and demonstrates my capability to execute precise calibrations within the accepted tolerance levels. Recognizing the importance of striving for even greater accuracy, I have already initiated a review of our calibration procedures to identify opportunities for further refinement. This includes investing in advanced training for myself. This comment positively acknowledges the fact that expectations were met but this professional is also trying to overachieve the expectation and has also lined up for a training. Let's come to KRA number 4. Number of process improvements. If we have to refer to the data, it is 8 that we got. If we look at the range, then it falls under almost meets expectations category. Here is what we write in the comments. Over the past evaluation period, I have successfully implemented eight process improvements. While this achievement demonstrates a solid commitment, it falls marginally short of the expected benchmark for this review cycle. I have taken proactive steps to address this gap. This includes conducting a thorough analysis of our current processes to identify underlying issues that may have limited our ability to achieve more substantial outcomes. Based on this analysis, I am developing a targeted action plan that includes specific strategies for streamlining workflows, enhancing team collaboration, and leveraging technology to increase efficiency. This comment acknowledges that you have not met the expectation and it also tells the manager as to what is it that you are doing to achieve this in the next appraisal cycle. Here is the fifth KRA now. Number of hours spent in knowledge transfer, training, coaching and solving queries of team members. If we have to refer to the data, it is 25 hours. If we look at the range, then it falls under meets expectations category. Here is what we write in the comments. Over the review period, I have dedicated 25 hours to knowledge transfer, training, coaching, and addressing queries from team members. This commitment not only meets the expectations, but also shows my dedication to the continuous development and empowerment of our team members. The focus on KT and training sessions has enabled team members to stay abreast of the latest industry practices 
and internal process updates, contributing to a more agile and informed team. Through coaching, I have been able to provide personalized guidance, helping team members overcome challenges and achieve their individual performance goals. Additionally, by being readily available to solve queries, I have fostered an open and collaborative team culture where knowledge sharing and problem solving are prioritized. This comment not only highlights that we have met the expectations, but it also tells your manager the positive outcomes of all your efforts. Since these comments are in long form, I would suggest that you write it on an Excel sheet first. Also, put your self-performance rating on the same sheet. Keep this ready and then go to the HR portal, copy paste the same and fill in all relevant details in order to complete your submission. If you are serious about your career and are ready to kickstart your job search process, then download the Breakthrough Resume course from the link given in the description box below. It's a recorded training that you can take at your preferred time and pace. So far in this training, you have learned step by step of how you can write comments on your appraisal form. Use these key learnings for massive career growth. Subscribe to this channel and share this video with a friend who would benefit from it. As usual, I wish you all the best for your career and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.